out of Lake Jackson that the entire country is watching. A brain-eating amoeba that has already led to one child's death. Well, tonight, new details from Governor Abbott and state experts who say it could take months to give Lake Jackson's water the all-clear. Channel 2's Taisha Walker live now with the steps that are being taken to keep everybody safe. Taisha? Yeah, Dominique, months you mentioned. It could take at least three months. We know, according to state health experts, that it could take at least another three weeks for that boil water advisory to be lifted and then another 60 days for them to flush and disinfect the water, which is why right behind me you will notice National Guard members handing out bottled water to the Lake Jackson community. Outside Brazosport College. Mandates don't aren't law. Protesters were hoping to get the governor's attention over the mask mandate. But inside, Governor Greg Abbott was only focused on one thing. This is a total tragedy for Josiah as well as his family. But we as leaders in the state of Texas must seize upon the strategy uh, to make sure this never happens again. Earlier this month, six-year-old Hosiah McIntyre died after coming in contact with a rare brain-eating amoeba. How? State officials say from a splash pad. We know the only way that you can get it is to have that contaminated water go up your sinuses. The splash pad is now closed, but the city of Lake Jackson's water supply is under the microscope. The residual samples that we have in our records show that there would be nothing of concern up until this point. The Texas Commission on Environmental Quality says Lake Jackson's water is tested quarterly for disinfectants and monthly for bacterial levels, though they don't test for amoebas. 11 of 54 samples of the city's water shows low levels of disinfectants, sparking a boil water advisory. The National Guard is now handing out bottled water. The TCEQ says it could be three months before Lake Jackson's tap water is safe again. As part of the investigation, the state will work to find out how that amoeba was able to grow inside of Lake Jackson's water supply. Reporting live in Lake Jackson, Taisha Walker, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Taisha.